I think there's nothing more impressive than a whole cooked fish coming to the table. It's not only beautiful, but it's very easy to put together. So this is a one kilo snapper. I've got quite a large snapper for this because I want it to feed at least six to eight people. And I like to bring it out of the fridge at least one hour before cooking. So I need to just prepare this by just trimming the tail slightly so it fits on my plancher. And a plancher is just a flat pan. And also the fin. And with a sharp knife, I'll score it. I like to score fish that are particularly large like this one, just so again we get that even cook. Turn it over and we'll do the same to the other side. So we'll just trim that little fin there and then score it. And there are a few indications when you're choosing a fish to make sure it's fresh. First of all, it should smell like the ocean. It shouldn't be too fishy. Also, have a look at the eye. If the eye is bright and shiny, that's another great indication. And the gills should be really bright red. So this one is just perfect. Now, I like to keep this very basic because it really is all about the fish. So extra virgin olive oil on both sides and inside the cavity. And then a generous pinch of salt. And then on the other side, fantastic. Inside the cavity, I like to add some lemon, just some lemon slices. And there are so many different combinations you can add to this, depending on the flavors that you like. So really mix it up and experiment. So that can go in the center some bay leaves and some thyme. Now I've got classic thyme here, but if you can find some lemon thyme, a wonderful addition with fish. So again, we're just going to pop that in there. And finally, some sumac. I love this spice. In actual fact, it's a dried berry. It's fantastic with fish. So turn the fish over and on the other side. And that's all I'm going to do to the fish. Now I'm going to cook this a la plancha, as we say in Spanish. I've got a rectangular pan here and my induction comes with a flexi zone, meaning this rectangular area here is going to be paired. So we've got a beautiful even heat, which means the fish is going to cook from nose to tail evenly. And that's what you want when cooking a whole large fish like this. So let's get the heat on. We want this to be at a high heat, so let it preheat. And then we're going to cook this fish for about eight minutes on each side. Okay, time to flip. And I think if you're flipping a large fish like this, it's best to use two fish slices and carefully flip it over. Oh. Look at that. So we'll give that another eight to 10 minutes and then it's ready. Okay, this fish is cooked. It looks gorgeous. And the best way to check that it's cooked is just to grab a knife and just poke it in the thickest part of the fish all the way down to the bone. Leave it there for a moment and then just touch it if it's hot. The best way to do it is just on your lip. And if that's piping hot, you know that the fish is cooked all the way through. A little garnish because we did add some thyme to it. So some sprigs of thyme just to jazz it up. I love this la plancha, serving it a la plancha, which is just serving it in the pan as is. Some lemon on the side, a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, just to freshen it up so it glistens. And some salt. I would serve this with some baked rice, maybe a little salsa verde, but the main thing is bringing that to the table. Everyone is going to be impressed and it's cooked evenly, like I said, from its nose all the way to its tail.